Hey everybody, it's Judson with JB Toy Store. Hope you're having a great Christmas season. I've just received one of the greatest Christmas gifts a guy could ever ask for. Can you guess what it is? Well, I guess if you read the title of the video, you should know. So, look at this. Compliments of Mom and Dad. Yeah! It's the Cobra Hiss, baby. Stay tuned. We're going to open this thing up and see what it's all about. So this is one huge box. This thing weighs probably about 18 pounds or so. Uh, but on the top of the box, of course, we have a uh, an interesting Cobra logo here. And then, of course, on the front, we kind of have a wraparound artwork. Uh, so starting around over here, uh, you see the, the, the soldiers uh, there. Uh, and then, of course, in the background, of course, we see the Baroness Destro uh, Cobra Commander uh, and on and on. This thing just wraps around on these three sides. Just very well thought out, very well done. And then, of course, we have a rendering of the His Tank on the back. And if we spin it back around on the bottom, we're going to see that we have uh, the specs uh, for the uh, His Tank. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Holy crap, that was a pain. But anyway, let's see. All right, so we know that this is going to be the hiss tank in this box. And before we get into this one, I'm going to, I'm going to put it aside. Because as everybody knows, we got our figures in this one, and I want to see the Cobra Commander. So let's uh, nice Cobra emblem there. So let's take a look. Now I want to see it first. This is pretty sweet. We got some nice parchment paper. That is absolutely freaking awesome. <laughs> and of course, we've got, looks like we have stickers, uh, whatnot, so we can customize our uh, Hiss tank. And let's be very careful here. Of course, we have number uh, 100. Uh, this is the Cobra Hiss Tactician. Uh, and I believe it's Ron Rudat's, uh, you know, signature there, but not real. It's, you know, uh, but very cool. Indeed, number 100 in the series. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Good artwork. And here we have the Cobra Hiss driver, number 99. Uh, a little schematic on the back. And then we have the Cobra Hiss gunner. That guy looks pretty sweet. Got number 101 in the series. And of course, schematics on the back as well. Now the moment I've been waiting for. This is the retro Mickey Mouse version of Cobra Commander. Uh, that is absolutely awesome. Great great rendering of Cobra Commander that looks absolutely beautiful love all the accessories that he comes with a couple of her hands knife snake with the, uh, around the globe a little backpack and his blaster uh, wonderful and of course on the back we see um, his little his file card I was gonna say little file card but no that's a big file card so this one definitely uh, is not getting open this is going uh to be put up somewhere very safe and sound so we'll put him off to the side there let's put this back together okay let's get to the main attraction i guess uh, this is the cobra hiss tank so let's open this bad boy up and see what we have this is a huge huge box and immediately we see we, this thing is very well packaged uh, if you can see fairly well there it looks like we've got the uh, 
and the glass here little covers for the treads we've got a little gun there I believe that's everything there so are you ready <laughs> this thing is absolutely massive <laughs> so we got this thing put together and I've got to tell you this thing is a beast it is absolutely awesome. This is a great addition to the collection. Uh, listen to the way this thing rolls. That is sweet. That is really, really sweet. Uh, we've got some massive cannons up here. And a couple of other cannons machine guns here this spins around of course this will pop out as well ah, there we go there we are absolutely awesome this is a great great vehicle and of course i went with the uh, uh i didn't go with the original look of the hiss tank uh so i went with the uh, the red which you know this opens up and then of course these wing back as such and then of course we can see and i just hit that button uh by accident there but uh we've got a nice cockpit here uh seat belt gear lever which actually does shift um and this one as well so that's really really neat the uh since i hit that by accident and then of course if you can see that i'm not sure if you can or not but uh, the uh, control panel does light up and we'll go ahead and close this back up there we go then of course we've got the step ladders here so that our uh, figures can actually climb up into the hiss tank very cool feature you get on both sides and of course I went ahead and put the uh, missile launchers on each side of the tank I chose this uh, cover here um, looks pretty pretty bad and on the back of course we've got a little hitch uh, so we know that something uh, down the line is coming uh, a nice accessory for this I'm sure and of course we've got a nice turret here uh, little blasters that uh, can spin uh, actually almost almost 180 of course, you wouldn't want it to go, or actually, I uh, wouldn't want it to go 360 because you'd just blow your treads out. But. And if we open the back and fold that up, and we see where we've got a little place there for the, uh, the figures to sit. And I think what we'll do is let's see if we can't turn the lights out and see if we can't um, see this thing light up a little better. So. Okay, so it is completely dark and I'm turning the hiss tank around to show the back. So when this back opens up, I'll just do that again. There we go this automatically comes on so you don't have to hit the button for this to come on are you able to see that fairly well and and i'll show you the other little feature on that uh tailgate so to speak in a moment so let's go ahead and see if we can't activate this cobra emblem yeah well the first 
push of the button, of course, we get the uh, control panel lit up. And, of course, we see the lights on the front. And see if we push it again, then we get the Cobra emblem. And that is absolutely, absolutely sweet. There we go. Can you... That is really, really cool. <laughs> and if we push it again, then, of course, we get more lights um, uh, on the front. And then, of course, we get brake lights on the back. <laughs> it's absolutely cool. And let's see what happens if we do it again. Oh, we get a, the lights here actually come on. And if we do it one more time, that goes off. The rest of the lights stay on. And it looks like they turn off one at a time. And that's absolutely cool. Love that. Almost looks like Knight Rider. And, but if we press and hold it, that should maybe there we go and press it one more time that'll turn it off so let's get the lights back on and i'll show you this tailgate feature and of course now when you lower this ramp then you have to fold up the little step part there and uh but when you do fold it up watch this this is really a really cool feature that automatically lays back down and goes actually absolutely flush uh, with the rest. It's really, really awesome. This is an absolutely phenomenal vehicle. Can't say it enough. This is the probably one of the best Christmas gifts I've ever gotten. Thanks, Mom and Dad. I really love it. Thank you. And love y'all too. <laughs> but this is awesome. There's so much detail. This thing is just beautiful. So kudos to Hasbro. Uh, let's make more G.I. Joe vehicles like this. 